Hey guys, welcome to my next Let's Play project. Now, what could this be? It's a DreamWorks game, which we've been doing Disney a lot lately, so I thought we'd be doing something a little different. This is something I bet you guys would never think you'd see on the channel, but I did mention before that I actually had it. So, let's see if any of you guys can guess an Activision. We know how wonderful Activision is, don't we? Let's just get out of the introduction stage already, shall we? Good evening, Modesto. I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, Aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's got to be from outer space. But I'm ready for him. See? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop him. Ugh, this is the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boots. I love my job. Ooh -rah. People, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, PhD. Other unsung heroes of science also pay the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Australazine bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered an accidentally thawed half-ape, half-fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach. Where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some ten million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Dinormal, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormous. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detrop, show me my monsters.
intro to Monsters vs. Aliens, the video game. And I will admit, I actually really enjoyed this video game the first time I played it. I'm not going into this blind. <sighs> I have played it a couple times, as you can see. It's a pretty quick game. It's not very long, as you can see, so it'll be a quick let's play. Especially with how long my videos are. A monster is a very dangerous thing. Scary. I'm gonna and screw with the options right up. away. I'm losing transmission. Boost the signal. Incoming communication. Going to tell Just making sure everything is on. Since we know these games have this amazing thing. Amazing thing of Not taking off subtitles. Monster containment. So let's see the first level. So we're probably going to do a level of video because these are, if I remember, pretty good size levels. I just can't remember. I know they're not as long as that tangled crap. Hey, Ginormica, if you're not going to eat your oatmeal, can I have it, huh? Oh, please, let the poor girl eat. What? If she wants it later, I can always throw it up again. What is she not to lose? That's not the point. Ginormica here is obviously still trying to adjust to her newfound monsterhood. We should be sensitive. What are you saying, Doc? That we're not sensitive? Uh, wow, got a little gill in on that one. Besides, think there's anything sensitive about her? Check out those hands, are you kidding? They're like man hands, times a million. Ugh. Okay, that's it. First of all, my name is not Ginormica. It's Susan. And second of all, I do not have man hands. And third, I am not, not a monster. I'm a girl, petite and sweet. Got it? Don't look now, but Miss Petite and Sweet just put her spoon through 18 inches of super steel. <sighs> oh, look, Susan, leave the spoon. We'll just get Monga to give you another one. I don't want another spoon. I want Susan, dear, please be reasonable. Where would we go? Hey, how about Monster Beach? Bob, please. There's no such place. Look, I've got to do this. Otherwise, I'll just wind up staying here and settling. And for what? Wait! We'll need my latest invention! <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! They're just homemade communicators I happen to whip up, you know, just in case. General Monger, it's a stage four breach. What are we going to do? Hold your fudge, Detrop. I didn't get these birds by turning tail every time some monster showed me his ugly maw. Release the Avenger. Here, this should be good. So we're gonna start out, I think, playing Ginormica. All ground team, I want those monsters fast. Report in. What the? Oh no! What do I do? How should I know? I'm a scientist, not a roller derby enthusiast. That might help you are. Ginormica is entering Sector 7. Seal off all in. Susan, the doors are closing. We have to get you out of there. No! There's the way out! Relax, Susan. You should be miles away from trouble now. Yeah, miles away from trouble, Whoa. that's it. Hey! Uh-oh. Miles away, huh, Doc? Well, I could be a little off. Come on, Susan, you're both on wheels. Surely you can outskate this thing. Okay, then, let's see how you roller boogie. So we start off right away in action. Sir, we have a visual on Jupiter St. Armageddon. Well, understood. Stay back. This is a good test for the event. Subdue target, giant Omega. Nope, that looks very dangerous. So you can kind of see the point of her levels are going to be doing this. The uh, roller. Each level, each monster has its own type of level. Monster DNA. You can pick up multipliers to increase the number of monster DNA you collect. You can multiply the amount you get up to five times, but you will lose one level every time you get hit. That doesn't sound that hard, right? 
and then I fucked it up. They make it easy in the first level, except if you're that you can jump or double jump over obstacles by using the jump button. Dude, this was actually a pretty hard game you for me to find. by pressing the crouch button. Thank you. Can I get a word in it? The laser, Susan. So yeah, this was actually a pretty hard game for me to find. Uh, I, every time I went to get it, it was always sold out. So I can't remember how I actually got managed to get my hands on it. A real simple yet effective. Lean your hips, Susan. He's really good on to the walls to ride them. So yeah, you're seeing basically the trick, and it it, it plays really well. Like the play okay. gameplay is soft. Hey, that's pretty good driving, girl. Hey, I thought Susan was skating. She is. Use the dash button to break. Oops. So now you're seeing we get points from destroying things. Which means we're just killing innocent people. Aren't we wonderful? Whoa, that was not the wrong, that was not the right button. Wow, that's actually really big. I don't think so, you're not gonna get me. Doesn't that destroy your own base though? It doesn't seem like it's very productive. Safe, at least for now. By the look of it, you should be approaching the silo. Silo? You mean like missile silo? Give up, monsters. There is no escape. Well, there might be one escape for me. Can we do it? Can we do it? Let's see. Oops. Oh, it would help if I'm pressing the right button, wouldn't it? So that's what happens if you get a game over, by the way. I meant to do that just to show the game. Give up, monsters! There is no escape! Really, there's not much of a penalty unless you're going for uh, points. Which, really, why would you? Ah! And you can have two players with this game. Which is awesome. And it does change up every time you do. Ah! Go, I believe that's got it, yep. So, it's only been 13 minutes, so we're gonna do another scene. Oh well, we can't all be super geniuses, can we? Now we have to go to the DNA lab to kind of show that off. So I believe we'll be doing two scenes an episode, I guess, because I forgot they were that short. Welcome to the DNA lab! Here, my brilliant invention allows you to trade all the monster DNA you can collect for all sorts of important goodies! Exceptional! Now we have more things to choose from. Let's see. Character upgrades, challenges, concept art, commentaries. There is plenty for everyone. Ooh, now I'd quite like to hear what Susan has to say. She's a sensible girl. Enormous, but sensible. So we'll actually probably hear some of that later. Let's view the stills. And that's the only one we get. So we'll have to unlock more later. You can unlock a lot. You can unlock a lot in this. So I'll hopefully be trying to show it off. If I can't show it off all here, I will show off a lot of it on my previous save.
and each monster, as I said, will play completely different. So now we're going to see how the missing link plays. And I can't remember how he plays. I believe he's more of a platformer. Jay Normica is more of the car, I guess you would call it. Sorta. Okay, yeah, I remember this now. Doesn't appear to be well defended. How big it is. I'm surprised those things could even stand on. Press the attack button to punch! Gee, we hadn't totally figured that out yet. What did I tell you, my boy? Mere yeah, plaything for a monster of your stature. So we're gonna destroy everything we can and really rack up the points. Because we need as many points as we can to unlock everything. And I believe the missing links actually can get tricky later on in the game. So we're gonna be really careful. But for now, it's easy peasy Press first level. Jump button to jump. When in midair, press the jump button again to perform a double jump. Really? Because we don't know what double jumping is. Is the, the hardest. The automatic missile turret looks like it's routed through that control panel over there. Use a control console to get things moving. Move the target and shoot missiles. You couldn't even hit me. Way to go. This is definitely causing damage. When grabbing an enemy, move the target to lock on. You can then throw the enemy or object at will. This is basically just, you know, teaching you. It's a kid's game, so of course they're gonna hold the kid's uh, hands. Oh, but for expert oh, gamers oh, like us, we don't need it. Try throwing something to get rid of those enemies buzzing around you! I prefer the other way of doing it. Well, Alright, the missing link. I'm looking at the robot schematics. It appears you'll have to deactivate several more control panels to get to the next area. I can't get you, can I? You win this time, robot! But you won't win for long for... I can grab this guy. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna introduce you to your friend. Okay. I can't introduce you to your friend. That one, lady. But I can do a lot of damage with him. Oh, and watch out for the mechanized troops. I thought you said this was gonna be a piece of cake. Wait, piece of cake? Really? Why my bother? I kind of am keeping quiet because I do really like the ones they say because a lot of them are fun. Gee, I wonder what it could possibly want us to destroy. Mm. Whoa, that was good. Just destroy it. Millions and billions of dollars of your taxpayer money has gone to making this. And we destroyed one, two, three. Oh, yeah. This is why the government can't have nice things. Because missing of link, direct missiles against the car rack to use it as a bridge. <laughs> Is that robot still floating over there? Oh. Wow, you managed to survive. Well, not for long. You can destroy all the things. Okay, almost all the things. Think that'll do it? Yep, that'll do it. I 
think we basically destroyed one of the legs. That can't be Excellent good. What? The missing link? The explosion has opened up another path. From here, we'll need to get you over to the other foot. That's the way inside. Sounds that easy. Press the strong attack button. Yeah. There you go. There's your strong attack. Uh, the missing link. Be careful with the red bracelets. They could easily explode. Thank you for telling me the obvious thing that I just did. Come on. Time to waste him. Give me all of the health. Phew. I got lucky to avoid that one. There we go. We are getting a lot of DNA from this. There we go. Okay, I thought it would do the ratchet and thing. Good to know it does. There was a way to actually make him run faster. I guess not. Well, he runs pretty fast. I mean, I'll give him that. So it's not too terrible. There we go. Almost forgot about my double jump. Good thing I didn't. Nothing breaches an enemy's defenses like a leap attack. Hold the attack button until you're ready. Then release the attack button and select... Watch out for those drones! You'll have to defeat- This is actually a really cool feature. Plan F to succeed. Plan F? What was plan E? That is really a cool little feature that it gives you that you can do. And you will abuse the shit out of it. But you don't want to use too much. Now they're gonna keep spawning them, so you can technically just use this as a way to collect points. Nothing breaches an enemy's defense yes, like yes. a leap attack. Hold the attack button until you're ready, then release. There we go. It's kind of wonky with that control. I'll say that much, it doesn't always read the first time. Destroy all the items. But yeah, if you want to grind for some points, there you go. That's where you go to grind. This is gonna be really stupid. Wow. Wee! No! Really thought I was gonna die there. Four missiles? It has missiles that defend its missiles? How paranoid is this android? Well, obviously very. It's the U.S. government. It's gonna have missiles on missiles on missiles. We know that. I mean, that one's kind of obvious. Alright, by my calculations, you should be nearing your objective. Keep going. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, this seems far too simple. Uh-oh. You want to go after those if you can get them, and I can't. Those are like bonus points of the extreme. And I completely missed my chance at them. Oh, that sucks. They have these little, like, alien bones. You'll see more of them later on. But let's head inside. This should take you up to the body of the robot. Very excited. Hold on. Going up? I don't think- I think the only character you don't play as is the, uh, cockroach, I don't remember. I must say, you're surprising even me! Great work! So we're gonna head to the DNA lab, and we're gonna show the beginning of the next episode of the next scene and then we'll be done oh, my pets. grow grow and conquer the world uh, i mean uh, and give us more things to upgrade oh i might have uh oh
I didn't mean to actually start up this, so I guess we're gonna end off with a monster channel. And this one is just destroy all the Which we love doing anyway. This one won't be hard. Come on, you little bastards. Ah! Oh! I'm gonna retry that. I call bull. I call the bulls. You don't, Mr. Robot. You want to keep them at bay, that's for sure. See, it's it's a fun game. Like, people say movie tie-ins can't be any good. There are no good movie tie-ins. And I actually really enjoy this game. In fact, there's a couple of TV tie-ins we're going to be doing. I would put this under the girly. I really should make it not the girly games corner. I really should figure out a new name for it. Ooh, that was a nice hit. And as you can see, they're getting a lot faster. Come on. I score 600. 6,600. I think we can beat that. Ah! Oh, what do we get, though? Oh, well. We'll have to do it again next time. You can see by playing that, you can unlock more. Challenges, concept art, commentaries. There is plenty for everyone. So I will see you guys next time on Monsters vs. Aliens.